This is the College of Music and Drama. And basically, you're gonna go ahead and create an exterior render with SketchUp and Enscape. Obviously, the first step we're gonna do here is we're going to set up the composition. First of all, I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna do two point perspective. That's the first step. I should increase the height. I think I'm gonna delete all of these trees. I'm gonna try doing a field of view which is a bit lower. So let's go for something like 65. And then maybe we move a bit backwards and something like this, I guess could fit in our composition well. I'm gonna do the rendering quality up to ultra. Let's add some depth of field, maybe 12%. And let's focus it in the building over there. Something like this could work for our composition even though maybe we are a bit too far away. What if we tone down the field of view to 55? I wanna see how this will look in just a second. Okay, I think something like this might look a bit better. We have set up the field of view, we have set up the composition, we have set up the um, ring quality. Now we're gonna to go to the camera, view management, we're gonna create a view and I'm gonna type in camera one. First of all, I'm gonna replace this texture to a better grass texture. I'm gonna go over here and in my resources folder, I'm gonna find one that I use quite often, which I believe is better quality than the usual ones. Uh, so this one is usually a bit better, but I think it's a bit too light. I'm also gonna need to change the name to uh, grass. And as you can see, just by changing the name here, it automatically turns to grass material and you do not have to do too much manual configuration on that. So let's see how something like this would look like here. I'm gonna wait a few seconds. And I think um, let's leave it like this for now. We're gonna fix that later on, maybe do a bit more tweak. The other thing is we're gonna need to add a tree here. I like to add a tree for framing. It helps with the composition a lot. Usually an oak tree works fine. Some of them are higher quality. Some of them are lower quality in Enscape. I guess that's just um, the way it is as of now with Enscape. Maybe I move this closer and I move this a bit more upwards or I increase this size. Uh, well, not like that because that is covering the whole uh, screen, maybe just a little bit lower. I'm gonna do some more trees uh, right here. Something that I would like to do here is change this a bit. So I'm trying to cut up the surface into diff two different surfaces and that's just because, okay, good. Uh, that's just because it's going to be much easier for us to do the asset placement once I want to put in some grass here. We're going to go to the multi asset placement. I'm going to go to the vegetation and then I'm going to move on to trees. So at trees, I'm going to type in oak trees. That's what I want to place here. I'm going to select all five of these and then I'm going to select the paint bucket tool and I'm going to place them in this surface. Uh, let's see how that will look like in terms of uh, helping us with the shadows, as I said earlier here. Let's increase the density. So this didn't help that much. So what I can see, uh, these ones, we do not need them. I'm gonna increase them in size once again. I'm gonna delete these and I'm gonna select them once again. I think something like this can help. Um, this is basically just to uh, break up the monotony of the background. I know that it seems like a small detail, but trust me in the end, it will make um, a difference. So I'm gonna go to the multi asset placement. Let's try this part. Let's see how many oak and select these five trees. Confirm placement, apply changes. So I'm gonna take this in the back and then I'll move this a bit around here. I'm gonna select all of these. Let's move them in the back. Let's go to the visual settings. We can go to sky, let's go to sky box. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna try and load in an easy ride. Uh, brightest point in sun direction. This is way too dark. Um, I guess there's some angles that look cool. Let me tone down the sun brightness to like 20% first and let me rotate it something like this i know it's a sunset i'm not sure maybe we'll leave this as an option let me let me duplicate this as well i'm gonna go over here and do hri2 hri1 midday hri so where i got this i got this hri from where i get every single one of my hris in Holy haven so yeah let's leave it like this so what i can see from now there's another thing that we need to take care of i guess that's the pavement and also just overall fixing up uh the Kind of surroundings a little bit more uh one thing that i do notice is that the glass here definitely needs to be a bit more reflective i'm trying to to be based on a real life photo of this actual building but i'm not sure how that will go for me so let's make this a bit darker let's try something like this and then for the actual uh slab here let's go add the landscape materials Let's go to concrete. I don't know how much this fits like in real life, but I'm gonna try to adapt something. So I'm just gonna add this concrete 04. It may look like a bit too reflective, but honestly, I do not mind it. Uh, what about this? Okay, 
And then for the wood material, um, this one, I think this one is going to be a bit trickier. So if I select all of these, if I go to the ASCII material library, I'm going to go to wood, let's try wood 45. And then let's apply it here. I guess it, it matches well enough for now. And then I'm going to do the same for this one. Definitely we have to take care of the pavement right here. Let's go to pavement, uh, pavement one. This is what I usually use. So I'll just apply this material. Okay, I think this needs to be larger. Let's do 300. Change the orientation, rotation, 90 degrees. I don't think we need to touch anything more as far as the pavement goes. Okay, so let's use this one, I guess. Import it. Let's apply it here. Let's rotate it. Texture, position. Perfect. I think something like this looks perfectly fine. I know for sure that we're gonna need to tweak the lighting. Let's go to vehicles. That's something that we're going to need here for sure. Let's add something which is pretty standard, I guess. And then maybe we can add like a bus or a van over here. Let's rotate this on this side, put it a bit backwards. I'm just going to select a bunch, bunch of different ones. This is just, no, not on the road. I want them there. Uh, maybe it is a bit too much. We're going to need to add some people here walking, some people here as well. Let me select a bush. Let me go and take it here to make it larger. So I'm going to go to vegetation once again, and I'm going to scroll down. Let's see what we have here. Something like this and then make it larger. Let's see. So if maybe I can also copy some like along these lines, I just want to make this a lot smaller. Perfect. Now it looks a bit more normal because it wasn't looking good previously. So I'm going to add someone walking here. I'm just going to add a bunch of people and then later I will I guess distribute so on a bit closer by to the camera. I'll rotate this on this side. Uh, this guy is going to be walking like this over there and then someone else moving forward like this, walking towards this area. Maybe we add some walkthroughs in that area. Um, let me go and find a crosswalk. Let me rotate this on this side. I'll copy this over here as well. Maybe we can use some signs. Uh, one over here. Right now, I'm just trying to add more context. Honestly, there's still a lot of things that can be improved. I guess let's add some fire hydrants here. Good. And then we'd add some trash cans over here as well. Okay, good. Let's add some of these. Um, yeah, something like this is better. Let me rotate them. So this is going to come on this side, moving forward a bit. And then another one over here. Let's do another one over here, another one over there. Next up, we're gonna need to experiment with lighting. Uh, we have one option with the midday is dry. Is this the best angle? Let me check if something else can work as well. I guess we can leave it like this for now. Let me duplicate this and try another H drive, which we're gonna call H drive three. So this is a bit more cloudy. Something like this can work as well. This fire hydrant here is really, um, not needed. Okay. The, the sun level is a bit low on this one. So there's just way too much shadows. Uh, but instead of changing the whole HRI, maybe we can just take off a few trees. Okay. Let's take these off. Yeah. I guess this looks a bit better. Here's our th three options. This is HRI number three. This is HRI number two. And this is HRI number one. I'm going to choose the best option out of these. Let's leave it at something like this for now. Let's try HRI three. Uh, and then we're going to choose between these two. So HRI 3, I think this looks better. I think we might need to go with this one. I think we can try something like this and turn on the sun brightness, right? I think this looks the best, right? Perfect. Render it out. So is this one right here? Honestly, it looks pretty balanced. I like the way the lining has hit over here. Uh, there's some context, people going in and out. I mean, honestly, it looks pretty good. I'm uh, not going to lie. It's very good for the amount of time that we took to create. I mean, it took like 40 minutes or something like that. Maybe adding a large tree here in the back would help just to give some more depth and layers to the whole composition. But uh, yeah, 